name is me, Kevin Smith. Welcome to IMDb at San Diego Comic Con 2019. And look, it's the director and cast of Madness in the Method. Give it up for him, ladies and gentlemen. Now, what's interesting or different about this is the director is somebody that I'm used to directing. Mr. Jason Mewes is the guy who's been standing next to me, both personally and professionally, for the last 30 years and stuff. He went and directed a movie. This is like, I, I had nothing to do with it. I didn't set it up, but it's one of my proudest accomplishments that I have nothing to do with because yeah. you finally sat there and go like, I'm tired of him telling me what to do. I'm gonna tell other people what to do. And you became a director. It seems so weird for you to even uh, introduce, like, here's the cast and director of. It's, Were you looking around, like, yeah, where's the like, director? Yeah, like, where are they? Yeah, like, where is this awesome people? Um, it is, uh, you know, it's it's really weird. And I almost said, when you're like, hey, it's Kevin Smith, I want to go, Jason Mewes! Because <laughs> that's what we do in our show, Get Old, anyway. I'm, it's like, you know, so this We're is We're here really in a different weird. capacity We altogether. are. It's We're here weird. to talk about you in a completely new line of work. What was it like to go from actor to director? I've always felt, and this is just my opinion, but directors and uh, actors and actresses make excellent directors because they sit behind so many directors over the course of their career and it gives you a chance to aggregate a style. You could sit there and be like, oh, I would do that. I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Like, if I was ever in charge, I would be this person. So by the time they step up to the plate, they like generally knock it out of the park. Did you find that I, to be the case? Uh, I don't know if I knocked it out of the park, but I felt like, um, you know where I noticed I wanted to direct is, it's funny, is you, Clerks 2, we were shooting Clerks 2, and I remember being like, let me direct this scene. You're like, no, 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 no. But then you did let me direct an insert of the urinal. Which was very exciting. There was a scene in the bathroom with this urinal. What a weird director <laughs> origin story you have. Yeah. But, but I, I shot before. a urinal and I knew I was made for this. <laughs> no, before that I wanted to do it. I'm just saying that's where I, the movie itself is where I wanted to start doing I it. I remember that day. Though. I remember you're like, I just taste. want to do, I just yeah. want to direct something. I was like, all right, yeah. we need an insert, do this. Yeah, and so. And I remember you went like two hours on a very simple insert oh, shot. Oh, yeah. It's got to be perfect. I'm like, no, it's it doesn't. Another it's a one. Kevin Smith movie. It could be fine. <laughs> Um, uh, that was the moment where you're like, I want to direct. Well, I mean, in the, the doing that movie, I felt like that's where I felt like when we were shooting scenes that I was like, oh, well, maybe we do this and do that. And I was like, oh, I love this seems like something I'd want to do is direct. Then I started asking you, I didn't want to direct the, the urinal, but I, w I wanted to direct something else. But that's what you gave me. And, and I was grateful for it's that. the mark of so. a strong director where you're like, look, I didn't want this job, but I will take it, and I will not only execute, I'll elevate it. You did. It's thank the best you. urinal shot in any movie I've ever seen. <laughs> they, I knew that. Let's See, get back so. to your movie, though. Yes, thank, thank you. Thank Tell you. us a little bit about it. It's a little bit meta in as much as you are playing a version of yourself, correct? It's true, true. And I'm actually, because I'm horrible at explaining movies, um, and I've been, I, I'm going to let Brian, so I know Brian can give his two Ladies cents. Ladies and gentlemen, really Brian O'Halloran, Dante uh, from Clarks. Uh, the man upon whose back I built my entire career, man. Uh, once again, you helped me start my career, now, directing career. Now you're helping him start his directing career, and apparently you're helping him explain what the movie's about. <laughs> uh, sure. Apparently, I've been roped into being the PR guy. Uh, <laughs> you know what it is? It, uh, it was. Uh, it's a great kind of meta universe kind of thing where it is our world, but just slightly different. And it's a world where Jay is having better aspirations of just not just being Jay and Bob, but wants to be, you know, uh, taken seriously in Hollywood. So he uh, comes to you for advice and like, I want to be more than just silly Jay. I just want to be something else. And uh, so you give him the great advice. Uh, Kevin, you make a fantastic cameo as yourself. Like, all the cameos and the actors who are in this world are playing themselves, but in a slightly altered way. You give him the advice of uh, learning method, the acting, teaching, book of learning how to act with all your confidence and all your skill behind it. And so Jay finds out this elusive method acting book and you know how Jay just drowns himself in anything he does, be it Fortnite, be it whatever. He goes into the method book like with a vengeance and learns the method way of acting and finds out that the Brian O'Halloran in this meta world, I've now producing this huge film called The Odyssey, and everybody in Hollywood wants to be part of this new epic adventure, and Jay wants to be a part of that film, and it's his kind of way of training himself to get into this film, and uh, along the way, there's a couple of mishaps that I think people will enjoy, and uh, the cameos are crazy, and, and everybody does a great job, and, yeah. and Jay just kills it, knocks it out of the park. Who'd you get? Who's at the cast besides the, uh, Brian here and also Mickey? And Mickey. So we have Dean Kane, Terry Hatcher, Casper Van Dien, Danny Trejo, Kevin Smith. 
Um, it, it, you it, learn it, from the master. You're like, I cast movies by just calling everybody I know. <laughs> exactly. And it was cool. It was really, it was awesome for me because, and one of the most amazing, well, I mean, everyone was amazing, um, and I cannot say his name, is, is David. Uh, Dave DeSmolchin. DeSmolchin's in it. Um, Judd Nelson. First mark of a good director is you have to be able to pronounce the cast name. I know, name I know. Dave DeSmolchin. Uh, um, and, then, and then Judd Nelson, but also Stan Lee. Does a cameo, which was so sweet because we called him up and, and he was like, look, I'll come down and I'll, I'll be part of this and play with you, Muse, but I have to be home for dinner. So yeah. it, it was really sweet. Um, he, it, it, a lot of cool people jumped on I board. I remember, I'm not going to let you roll over this. I remember the day that Stan Lee shot his cameo. I wasn't there, but Jordan uh, told me because you told her. Yeah. Um, you cried. I did. I did. I, I'm not even kidding you. Watching you interview him 2017, they were showing it in the boat. I honestly teared up. Like, we loved him. Uh, I mean, like, yeah. obviously, everybody loved Stan, but, like, you know, we loved yeah. him before Mallrats, but from Mallrats forward, yeah. he was like, when we came, I, every time I come to Comic Con, I think yeah. about we got dropped off, like, at the back of the loading dock area yeah. to go do a Hall H show. We got out of a car, and Stan was coming off the ramp and getting into a car. And he was like, hey, Kevin, because he always remembered my name. Yeah. He's like, hey, Kevin, hey, Kevin's friend. And, yeah. um, <laughs> <laughs> and we chatted for a few seconds, and he welcomed always. us, and then we, he went away, and we went inside. Yeah. And as we were heading inside, you were like, can you imagine if you went back in time and told us that like, not only would one day we get to go to Comic-Con, but one day Stan Lee would greet us at Comic-Con? This yeah. is nuts. He's always held a real uh, special place in your heart. 100%, man. It's like year after year we see him different places, and every time he says hi, like, I would get choked up. Even though I knew him and, and saw him, and we take pictures at all the cons. And oh, Anyway, it, it was really, it, really sweet that he came down. And, and he I was think it's his last, awesome. it was his last cameo. I think it might be the last one he shot. I believe so too. So again, it's just like that's such a big deal and and so special. And um, again, everybody who jumped on board, it was awesome because we didn't have a lot of money and, and everything. And everyone was like, "Oh, Muse is directing. We'll be part of his his uh, directing." Like debut, including so. Mickey Gooch here, yeah. Masket Bags, Mickey Gooch. What was it like working with Jason Muse? Well, I was there. I witnessed the tears that day. You saw it. You were there for the same. I saw me. I, I physically witnessed them, and uh, it was a beautiful day. It was a really surreal day just to be on set with Stanley and. Uh, and then, you know, working for Jason, a great description of the movie. I mean, I mean, he gets into method acting, and basically he gets so deep that my character, Detective Wayne Arnold, is now after him. So <laughs> let's just put it that way. Um, but, yeah, working for Jason's been a dream. I mean, to basically describe, like, what this movie's like and what Jason's like as a director, Jason is the most interesting person I have ever met in my entire life. And this movie is the inner workings of his brain. Right, right, and it right. shows you a piece of who Jason Muse is. And when you watch it and you know Jason, you say, of course, you know? It and, really, it really yeah. was, it yeah. definitely was. Like, you know, working with him since, you know, 93 and, and just seeing the 17 year old all these years and doing all the movies with you, of course, and, and now seeing him take the helm of a film. There, were the, there was a moment when I first arrived because I shot most of my stuff in England. There was a shot where we just had a moment together like, this is so bizarre, dude. Like, here we are in England shooting this film that you helped write and direct and you're directing. And whatever you need, I'm here for you, man. And uh, we had some really, like, we've come a long way kind of moment. And uh, it's those kind of moments that I, I, I love uh, that we've been able to get a hold of. Little boy from New Jersey grew up across the Atlantic Sea and went and directed a movie. I think it's hysterical because you directed the movie mostly in England. Yes. And it's set in Los Angeles. It is. It is. <laughs> it is. It's a lot, you went the wrong way. It's, it's the other true, way. It's true, you know. <laughs> uh, we got here the captain's hat on the IMD boat. And we would like to ask the folks to pull out a question, and then all of you answer this question. All right. Oh. Um. Well, you got to read it out loud oh, sorry. for the rest of us to hear. <laughs> I thought it was a secret. You were seriously pondering it. I, like, I'm going to go off and think about it. Well, I was trying to say, it says, what's your secret superpower? There you go. What's your secret so superpower? So my su secret superpower, I don't. I know it. Tell me, you please. I you, would love Hands it. down, Jason Mewes is the best father I've ever met in my entire Aww. life. That's not just me blowing smoke. Like, he is so good with his daughter, Logan. He has such an interpersonal relationship with her. 
it made me sad that I had a kid long mm. before you because I wish you had gone first because mm. I would have been like, that's how you do it, man. Oh, thank that's you. That's your secret superpower. He's an, a phenomenal father. Thank you. Miggy? My secret superpower would definitely be my dance moves because no one, no one expects it. Oh, that's okay. true. Like it's, it, I All bust right. them out. If it was a dance, you know, dance off, I'm, I'm going to win. That's it. I love it. Uh, wow. Oh, uh, it's not what you wish your superpower is. What is your superpower, huh? Secret superpower. What is my secret superpower? I, I guess I have the ability to get people to come around to, you know, everybody chill out, it's good. You know, this is what we want to do. I'm, I'm that kind of guy like uh, Julie from The Love Boat. I'm like the cruise director. <laughs> I mean, we're on a boat, why not a, a boat <laughs> reference, right? Like, I'm on, like, do you need any help? Like, I'm that, I mean, I Thank think God that's why the I IMDb, because a bunch of people are IMDb searching that what right now. What is The now. Love Boat? And they're looking up Lauren Twos, if I remember, right. Twees, if I remember. I think now. it's that kind of thing where I, I always try to, I'm like a people pleaser in a sense, like, I want to make sure everybody's having a good time, so, uh, if there's anything that uh, people can attest to about me is that you're never going to be upset with Brian in the room. You're absolutely true, Instant man. And show. I got to work with, I mean, they all went off and made their movie, and I was in his movie as well. But all these cats are in my movie. Everyone here is also in Jay and Silent Bob reboot as well. And I got to use his movie to cherry pick and be like, ooh, I'm going to take this person. That's nice. why I got Mickey and stuff. Yeah. So it all, it's, the snake keeps eating its yeah. tail as far as his work is there. But I've been standing next to you for three decades, dude. Couldn't be prouder that you directed your own movie. Give it up Thank for you. Jason News and the boys from Madness and the Method. <laughs> Stick around for more IMDb at Comic-Con San Diego, Comic-Con 2019.